another Killer Planes video. What if the real Air Force were like that? No, put a bigger motor in it. Sir, the fuselage is only this big around. Make it fatter. Hey there, I'm Steve Denise from Killer Planes down at the airport with an airplane. Hey, how about that? This is an F-86 from Freewing. It's a mini. It's like 700 millimeters. I was going to say milligrams. So as you can see, this is a fat plane. It's a little bit bigger around than the original. Or maybe it's old. It probably just got fat, right? No, they put a big motor in here. It's a 64 millimeter fan, which is probably enough to give it some good thrust, theoretically. This is a fast plane. I keep saying theoretically because I haven't flown it yet. But it's supposed to be fast. And I'm going to see how fast it is. It's a hand launch. I love hand launch planes because you don't need a runway. You just go down some place where there's a field, throw the thing up in the air, land it on the grass. This comes with plastic covers on these babies for skids and also one that you can put on the nose. We also lined the inside on the bottom with plastic and put some more rods in here because this is a perfect example of why I think you should reinforce planes. Yes, it's EPO foam, but it's a hollow tube of foam this thick. And if this plane goes fast, like it's supposed to, let's say 65 miles an hour, and it hits something, let's say the ground, this is just gonna vaporize, probably from here to here. There won't be anything to repair. It'll just be little shreds. So this is the reason that you should put carbon fiber rods into your foam planes, which we did here. So we put them out to the tips, we put them to the nose, to the tail, we put rods everywhere. Why? Because planes break everywhere, don't they? So. Let's see how this baby flies around with the, I guess you would call it a Supermax kit installed in here. And you can pick one up at Killer Planes for yourself after you've seen the amazing performance. Get everything you need to reinforce your foamies at KillerPlanes.com. <laughs>
And one more little touch I like to do on these things. It's real easy to do. You just take some flat black paint on a brush and reach in here and paint as far as you can reach, right? And it looks much better. You just, when you get to the front, just go like this. Keep the brush flat and paint it like this and it'll come out like that. I mean, it's a little sloppy, but who cares? Up in the air, it looks really cool, right? <laughs>